When you come back afterwards, you might think, hmm, that was a bit hairy. But adrenaline kicks in and... So you have to make sure whatever that all the crew are accounted for. A lot of them is their first time, so um, it's quite scary, really. I've been volunteering for four years now. I'm a self-employed handyman. I've been doing that for three years. Uh, very flexible. Work for myself so I can make any shout pretty much through the daytime. I'm a teacher, secondary school teacher, so I teach geography. Sometimes I have to run out, yeah. It's quite a lot of disruption for them, but you know, it could be two o'clock in the afternoon and you're gone for maybe two or three hours and you have to look for cover for your class. A lot of uneducated kids in Ireland with <laughs> <lots. laughs> half geography knowledge. <laughs> Our aim is that we don't make it easy for them, because the real life isn't easy. We never push them to the point of panic. What happens is you get your head to the bottom of the deck, that's where the air pocket is. And then uh, once we're, we've all established that we're all safe, we'll make our way to the back of the boat and then uh, deploy the uh, self-writing gear and then that flips the boat upright. Then we swim back in, deflate the bag and then start the engines and then off we go, carry on, either get back to station or carry on with the job. Some of the crew aren't great swimmers and when they come to us here at the college, we put them in the pool, that has taken them out of their comfort zone. Okay, they're definitely boaty people rather than aquatic fish type swimmers. Okay gents, what I'd like you to do is get into the boat unaided. For us as trainers here, you know, we do it on a weekly basis, so uh, it always becomes second nature for us. We know what to expect. Um, I think it's a lot worse for the crew, obviously, for a lot of them it's their first time, so um, yeah, for them the unknown is quite scary, really. Does it get very dark? No, I just want to know. It, it will go dark, um, the effects will come on, the strobe light will come on, we'll try and throw everything at you, similar to your sea survival, when you did uh, sea survival. Have you not? Okay. So it'll go dark, it'll be interesting. We're trying to make it as difficult as we can here, so if it does happen in real life, you've got some experience. So, can we get the engine going, please? Okay. So, shoulder to shoulder, right up on the edge. Nice and tight. All together, straight arms, straight legs, lean her back. Uh, when I 
was 18, I wanted to become a fireman. Um, so I thought, right, if I join a crew, look very good in your CV, having voluntary work on it. Um, I'm 22 now, and I haven't joined the fire service. My girlfriend sort of lived with the fact that the page would go off in the middle of the night, which it has. Somebody has to do it. So I'd rather stand up and be counted rather than sit in the background waiting for something to happen. 